The lovely Izzy Bear has asked, are ombre lips more suited to a full dramatic look or less is more? Okay, so I love this look and it started life on the catwalk is very dramatic. Mm. So the outer colour was a really bright red mm. and the inner colour was a really pale pink. I think a lot of people would be afraid of this look. Yeah, and quite rightly so because it's a real eye catcher. But the look we're wearing that look today and you're using the sort of the same tones. So yeah, you're... mine's the more subtle yeah. version today, <laughs> just highlighting the centre. I wish looks gorgeous. Thank you. So you'd use your darkest colour as a liner on the outside, mm. whether it's a red or a purple, and your paler colour on the inside. Okay. And then at that point, you're going to look in the mirror and think, what on earth am I doing? Because it looks crazy. But then you go in with your fingertip and you pull the darkest colour inwards to tone it all through. I and see. that's when it really sort of looks great. So depending on your mood, you can be really dramatic with it and stand out, or you can just do a more toned down, subtle version. Exactly. And the real yeah. bonus with this is it makes your lips look fuller. Love it. Joe Bohm on Facebook has asked, how can I make my eyes stand out? Okay. So like you. Like me. You look okay, fat. so this is all about eyeliner. Now, of course, you can do something really subtle with sort of a paler shade of eyeliner, mm. but this is a bold graphic look based on the trends we saw on the catwalk. Okay. Um, now, those trends went seriously wacky, so you'd have the line coming really close in. Oh, no, yeah, thank you. way out there. <laughs> this is way more wearable. Yeah. Um, and it's way easier to achieve than you'd think. Any quick tips that you can give to apply it? Of course, quick tips. So the first tip, Always choose a felt tip liner. It's the mm. easiest to use if you've got a bit of a shaky hand. And start really close to your lash line and build your sort of slick of liner outwards. So it gets thicker and thicker and then right. you get your most natural line. Okay. The other part I've got here is the flick. And that's easier to get than you'd think. So you just line your pen up between the outer corner of your eye and the outer part of your eyebrow to see where the line should lie. And then you press the nib of the pen flat alongside that just for a couple of millimetres and you get that flick, join it up to the line you've already created and you're done. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Both Anita and Nazreen want to know, what eye colours should I use for a new on-trend spring look? This year, believe it or not, red is the eyeshadow of choice. Wow. Never thought I would hear that. No, it's intense, but we saw a lot of women, women wearing it at the Golden Globes and it, it did. looked incredible. Yes. Really beautiful. But my tip is, red is very unforgiving, so I'm more inclined to go with the oranges, the Love peaches, orange. Beautiful and flat as all skin tones. Mm -hmm. Go for a shimmer or a metallic so it really softens up the look. Right. And all you need to do is wash it over your eyelid. There's mm. no blend there's no eyeliner, there's nothing. It's just one or two coats or build it up for a really, really intense dose of colour. I love the fact that people are trying something different. So do I. It means there's constantly something new going on and something to try. This one looks gorgeous. I think we should try it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>